Hello and thanks for checking out the Mesh Editor program. To open the program you can go to the Mesh Editor uh, menu item here which is now located on the main menu bar or if you're using the standalone version you can open it from the window menu item. When the program opens you'll see that the uh, program has had a complete rebuild and has a new GUI and one of the main changes for the program is that you're able to lock onto the object so that you uh, won't deselect the object that you're working on. Once you've clicked on an object, this button becomes enabled and it'll ask you to create a working mesh and this is so that it doesn't overwrite the original mesh of this object. We say yes and if the name of the copy already exists uh, it'll ask you to replace it, and you can say yes. When working with the objects, you can work with the vertices of the object, the edges, the triangles, or the textures of the object. You also notice that uh, the buttons now have tooltips, as well as hotkeys. When you mouse over, it'll tell you what the, the button does, and uh, which hotkey to use. Uh, with, in vertex mode here, we can select the vertices and move them around. And the same with the the edges, the faces, and also we can do the textures as well, which I'll show you uh, later in the video. To select vertices, we just left click, and to deselect, we hold down Shift and click. You'll notice that the handle snaps to the center of the selected vertices. And uh, another feature uh, that's changed in this version is that we can hold down control and we can move the handle anywhere we want. And this is uh, important for uh, for rotating um, and scaling. As What we can do is we can select an edge, let's say, change to rotation and as we rotate the edge will rotate around the current handle if we hold down control move it over this way it'll now rotate around the handle there to clear the handle and make it snap back to the center we just click on clear the handle position And when we're working with um, edges or triangles, we can extrude. So change to the move, hold down shift, and we can extrude the edges like so. We can also undo using Control Z and redo using Control Y. An interesting little. Uh, feature here, if I switch back to rotation, move the handle over here, hold down shift, do an extrude, each time we rotate it will extrude around the center of the handle. Same for the scale. If the handle is over here, it will scale relative to where the handle is. If I move the handle over, if I move the handle over here, it will scale relative to the handle position. With a textured object here, I can select texture mode, select the triangles. If I mouse over the description of the object here, uh, you'll notice that it now pops up with some information about the object, uh, the number of vertices, edges and triangles that's currently selected, as well as the number of vertices and triangles in the, in the mesh. When working with textures, 
the program will ask us uh, to split the vertices that are shared between the triangles. Currently this cube has shared vertices so we'll say yes and we can shift the textures, rotate the textures and also scale them using these tools. We can also work in local or world orientation. To demonstrate this I'll uh, first rotate this object. So we rotate that way. Um, select some triangles. You'll notice that currently the triangles are moving in the world orientation relative to the three axes here. If we change to local orientation they'll now move relative to local space. And some of the features here that we have are we can select all and depending which mode we're in it'll select all vertices, edges or triangles or textures. We can deselect all using this button here. If we've selected so we're working in triangle mode here. If we've selected some triangles we can also invert the selection and uh, we can also delete the triangles. And to uh, show you some of the other features I'll just move over to the sphere here. We'll lock onto this object. And when you begin working with a new object, it's advisable to change its name here to something like that, sphere copy, lock onto it, and it'll create a working copy of that sphere mesh. And if we select some triangles, we just hold down the left mouse button and paint. And again, we can delete or we can make double-sided. Uh, double I'll just do that one now. If we go inside, turn around, you'll notice that it's created double-sided triangles for that. And if I select some triangles, this feature here allows us to reverse those triangles. And again, it's asking me about the shared vertices, we'll say yes. And it has reversed those triangles. Another feature uh, that's new to Mesh Editor version 1 is that we can select an area and we can choose to make them faceted, just the triangles that are selected. And we can also smooth them out again. This also apply, applies to other objects like the pig over here. And uh, I'll just unlock, lock onto this object now. Now while we're locked onto it, we can flip the the mesh around the x-axis, the y, and also the z. And just to show you the uh, faceted feature again, I'll uh, select a large part of the mesh. You'll also notice that I only selected the front-facing polygons. And that's a, a f new feature as well. We can turn on or off the front facing. And now that that's off, I can select both sides. We also have a, a feature here called Optimize Mesh. This calls a Unity function which creates tri strips for the model, uh, depending on whether the model can be optimized.
some of the other features we have uh, we're able to save the mesh as an asset to the project folder we can also create an instant prefab from this mesh and in the options here we can render the wireframe this is useful if you're working on the inside of an object and you need to see which triangles you're selecting from the inside you can now turn on the wireframe for that object you can also choose to show quick highlights by default the program uses uh, small spheres but if you turn quick highlights they change to these small squares and sometimes when you're working on a mesh you might not want to select the coincident vertices of the surrounding triangles you can turn those off here uh, you can also do that for the edges uh, turn on and off tooltips and update UVs which is used only when extruding edges or triangles um, if we head back over to the cube here we'll just unlock from the pig select the cube give it a new name and lock onto it and when we extrude if we turn on update UVs each time we extrude the UVs will automatically update We can also enable the snap to grid option here when you're moving the triangles or vertices or edges they will now snap to the to the grid positions set here and same for the rotation so as we move they will snap and if we choose to we can also change the uh, pivot point let's say we've moved the I'll just turn off snap the grid for now as we move the handle we might want to change the pivot point of this object to here we click set to center and then click update just clear the handle position clear all the points unlock and you'll see that the new handle position has moved to this point or the new pivot point in the settings here we can change the path used to save the mesh to an asset as well as the save prefab option we can change the default hotkey to another key if we choose to uh, set the maximum number of vertices that can be undone the undo is a little bit slow for uh, models that have more than 10,000 so it depends on the speed of your computer if it's very fast you can turn this number up or reduce it the epsilon value is used for the uh, coincident vertices and coincident edges the smooth angle is used for the smoothing of the faces you can also customize the colors used for the selection and here you can save the current settings for the program or load previously saved settings or load the defaults as well and that's about it thanks for watching bye for now